Hello everybody and welcome, welcome in. My name is Smithic and welcome to my guide on how to add custom music to Ocarina Time Randomizer. I'll be covering how to do this with an offline seed and with a dev seed at the end. Without further ado, let's get started. First, we're going to search for Ocarina of Time Randomizer. Next, find the website ootrandomizer.com with the title Ocarina of Time Randomizer. Click on the link. Next, we're going to click on Downloads on the top bar. From here, we're going to download the Windows version, as that is my operating system. Once downloaded, double click on Ocarina Time Randomizer Setup to start the installation. Once the Randomizer Builder appears, it means the installation was successful. Now, we're going to search for Ocarina Time Custom Music. Next, find the website github.com with the title Darunius Joy slash OOT dash custom dash sequences dash github. I will link this in the description if you can't find it. Click on the link and scroll down to see the installation section. The words this zip file will be highlighted with a blue color. This means we can click on this to download the custom music. Once downloaded, right click on OOT dash custom dash sequences dash master and select Extract All. Pick the location you want the folder to be extracted to. Keeping it on the desktop makes things easier. Double click on the new OOT-Custom-Sequences folder. In here you'll see a data folder. Drag this onto the desktop, this contains the custom music. With OOT Randomizer installed and OOT Custom Sequences downloaded, we're moving on to the final steps. A shortcut should have been automatically created when we installed Ocarina Time Randomizer. Right click the shortcut and select Open File Location. From here, we're going to double click on Resources, then App. Next, we're going to drag the data folder we made onto the Python folder. A little box should pop up saying Move to Python. The moving process will begin. Once that is done, the installation should be complete. Double click on the Python folder, then data, then music. If a bunch of game titles are in here, you have successfully installed the custom music. From here, you can remove folders of games you don't want to hear in your randomizers. Finally, double click on the randomizer shortcut, add your base ROM, set your output directory to wherever you prefer, build your seed, then click on SFX and set background music and fanfares to random custom only. This is telling the builder to only use the custom music we installed. Generate the seed and you're done! Now, for those that want to use the dev version of the seeds, this is how you add custom music to the dev version. At the time of recording, the offline version of OOT Randomizer was a few versions behind the dev build. It is however possible to use the dev build online and generate the seed on the offline version. To do this, Build your seed on the online dev version. Generate the seed and scroll down to save unmodified patch file. Also, click on save spoiler log too if you want your spoiler log. You won't be able to get this in the next steps. With the unmodified patch file, we're going to launch the offline builder. Click on generate from patch file at the bottom. Click select file and find your patch file you made. Click on it and click open. Below the patch file box, you'll see Override Original Cosmetics. Make sure this is enabled or green. This is what will add custom music to your seed. On the top row, you'll notice only Cosmetics and SFX are lit up. Set your Cosmetics to however you like. From here, click on SFX. Click Normal under Background Music and select Random Custom Only. Next, click Normal under Fanfares and select again Random Custom Only. And with that, you can set the rest of the SFXs to your heart's content. Finally, generate the seed. Once it's generated, you have successfully imported a dev version seed into the offline version with custom music added to it. If this video has helped you, then please consider liking the video and let me know in the comments if this worked for you or if you're having any issues. And please consider subscribing to the channel. It's free and we're trying to hit 1,000 subscribers. I also stream over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash smithic. If you want to ask me any questions live, then head on over there. Take care, guys, and make sure to check that one check. It's gonna be important. Oh, finally! <laughs>